What is going on guys? I am back with a new series and this time it's gonna be pretty awesome because what we're gonna do in this series it's itself pretty awesome so uh, a lot of guys requested me on Facebook and on YouTube that I should create a AI series on the car game that we are developing inside of Unity. Now uh, so yeah I decided to do this and that's why this series is here right now and yeah so thanks a lot uh, for your suggestion guys and uh, yeah I look really forward to it uh, that you're gonna uh, that you guys will gonna like it all right so this is our very first episode of this series and uh, today what we're gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna explain it to you the logic or you can say the algorithm uh, uh, which we're gonna use to create that AI now I'm not gonna use any sort of traditional algorithms like a star or something fancy like that I'm just gonna use something that I have created on my own because you know I have my own ways of doing things because I'm a thug like that <laughs> okay so uh, yeah so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it so yeah let's move on to it uh, and let me show you what it's gonna be like okay so there we go there we have a very cheap as a presentation on GIMP uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, okay, so what we have over here is uh, GIMP. Okay, so uh, if you think of creating a AI in, uh, for a car, there is uh, one thought that comes into your mind that uh, you're gonna uh, create a path, a decided path where car will gonna walk on. And um, how we're gonna do that? I'm just, I'm gonna use that logic exactly, but um, yeah, with some. Uh, uh, other stuff to make it more advanced okay so what you see here is the path we're gonna create using game objects and we're gonna assign these game objects in an array and link them together and uh, we're gonna start a car over here and what we're gonna do is uh, make our car to go this point then this point then this point then this point then this point and uh, yeah that's how we're gonna make our car to move on a certain path and it's gonna be pretty awesome it's gonna be pretty easy and yeah that's gonna be pretty easy now the main part which we are gonna do is gonna be our obstacle avoidance system okay so what is uh, what is an obstacle avoidance system now uh, if you have a car like uh, let me show you uh, if you have a car like this and uh, there is a path uh, there is an obstacle in front of it and it is walking on its path which is created by game objects alright so uh, if it doesn't have that much of intelligence it will gonna collide with this object so we need to give this car uh, a bit more intelligence to avoid this obstacle and uh, that's what I'm going to explain it to you next so I'm just gonna remove this alright so uh, I guess this one yeah okay so this uh, consider this block as our car all right and uh, let's see these are sensors now I'm gonna explain to you what sensors actually gonna be inside of Unity. these sensors are gonna be made of Raycast uh, you know if uh, if you go inside of Unity, you type if Raycast if physics dot Raycast and you provide it uh, origin and a direction and um, a length and it we're gonna cast a ray in that direction and you can check that if it is hitting an object or not and if it is hitting then you can determine which object it is hitting by tagging now that's what we have used uh, before uh, to create the suspension for a car to simulate the suspension on the geometry of the uh, of the wheels okay so this is uh, these are gonna be sensors now if you look at it uh, th uh, let's say this block this um, uh, you can say gr bluish green block uh, is the obstacle so what's gonna happen is if this ray cast we're gonna collide with that object what's gonna uh, what's gonna happen is if we're gonna send a message to the uh, steer wheels to turn in a certain direction now you can see that if it is gonna collide with this ray cast if we're gonna turn into uh, turn it into this direction turn the wheel colliders to this direction 
and that will make our car to ignore that obstacle and we're going to do the same for these two one these twos but this request is a bit more complicated because we're going to use this request to detect uh, uh, the to detect uh, how close we are uh, we are to other cars that uh, we're gonna apply some bra uh, some brakes in emergency situations also if all these recasts are colliding with that object what this recast will gonna do is uh, to determine whether to go left or right so yeah that's pretty much you can say this is the tiebreaker all right and uh, we're gonna be having uh, a lot more recasts like I'm gonna be having two more recasts right here and you can add as much as you want since uh, as you want uh, because uh, you know it's important uh, I mean if you want pretty accurate results you need to add more recasts but I don't want uh, much more accurate results I because you know if you can ignore uh, every obstacle that behavior is not gonna be realistic and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, and that's we or that's what we're gonna do inside of Unity 3D. Now, I have created some prototypes to show you um, this effect, and uh, yeah, so let me just move on to it. Okay, so what you s what you are seeing here is these blocks, and uh, what these blocks are doing. Let me, uh, wait a second. Wait a sec. Um, so these are the cubes with no colliders. They just have the sensors and uh, yeah, they just have the sensors, nothing else. So they are detecting uh, the collisions and uh, uh, you can see that it is nothing pre-calculated like in A star algorithm, they calculate the where is the object then uh, ignore it uh, and uh, calculate the path. Now th what this is doing, it, they are calculating their angles on real time and uh, yeah, I guess that's the difference between ASR and this logic that I've created. So let me show you that this is real. This is nothing like that. And by the way, this white line that you're seeing is the path, and the white lines uh, that they these we uh, these uh, boxes are casting is uh, uh, the ray cast, or you can say sensors. All right. So I'm just gonna deform this map a peg, a peg, and you can see what's gonna happen. You can see they are calculating again and again oh my god <laughs> they got stuck okay so you can see it's not pretty advanced it's just a prototype to show you okay so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to scene I'm just gonna create it like this and oh my god that's a mouse alright <laughs> okay so uh, I'm just gonna make these deform and you can see that they will gonna calculate their path anyway you can see I'm just gonna make it like this big I guess see what's gonna happen <laughs> it's stuck at the point uh, no problem okay so this is very early state. I created in five minutes and uh, I'm gonna show you a uh, advanced version of it on um, uh, and it is applied on a car so you can get an idea what's gonna be like okay so let me open another project uh, it should be open by now. Okay, so what you are seeing over here? Wait a sec. Uh, okay, so oh what? Ah, oh, damn it, bugs. Okay, so what you are seeing here is a monster truck, which it which have some sort of intelligence to it, and. Um, this is also a prototype to show you how it's gonna be like so you know let me just move on to it let me show you how it's gonna be actually okay so let's just play it and you can see that it is direct collision it is reversing itself and ignoring the collision and going forward as you can see I'm not driving this car by the way I'm not controlling this car in any way it is it has its own intelligence to ignore the path and follow the path and yeah that's pretty much it so you can see um, if the car collides with an object it will try to reverse and if it cannot reverse if it is it's stuck then it will gonna respawn okay so this is the system that we are going to be created not exactly the system uh, our system is gonna be more advanced like it will gonna apply brakes on some certain um, you know curves 
um, where it has to apply brakes. And uh, it, it we're going to be having a more complex mechanism than this one. But yeah, this is for the demonstration purpose, uh, purpose and you can see that it is working pretty fine. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you turn off the gizmos, uh, now you can see that it we're going to reverse. Okay, is reversing. Reversing. Okay, cool. Um, it's way more a better version than this that one that we have just seen, and yeah, it working. It's working pretty fine, and I'm really happy about it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be creating some sort of things like that, but our will gonna be a bit more smooth. Like you can see in the steer angles, they are just quickly turning over. Uh, yeah, uh, but are gonna be smooth, so you don't have to worry about that. And now I am using two more sensors over here, um, just to make it better. Okay, that uh, have, you just have seen that the car has stuck and it will try to reverse, but it won't be able to because it uh, it wasn't able to reverse itself. Uh, it responds, and uh, that's what we wanted to do, and that's what will what we will do in our upcoming episodes so yeah that's pretty much it uh, I hope that you are gonna like it and uh, yeah so all the links will be in description to uh, about this car uh, AI series so be sure to check them out because uh, I'm gonna be posting all the code over there so yeah uh, that's pretty much it and uh, I'll catch you guys in my next episode Till then, goodbye, and it's gonna be very soon. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this series. And uh, yeah, so I guess if you have any idea to add some features on it, you can put your thoughts in the description below, uh, in the comment section below, or you can post it on Facebook or you know anywhere you want it to. So that's what we're gonna be creating. Uh, in our upcoming episodes and I hope that you would uh, that you liked it and uh, yeah that, that that's pretty much it and uh, I hope I'll catch you uh, so uh, I think that's pretty much it so I'll catch you in my next episode bye oh.